Hi, my name is Paul Ramirez. I've been living with epilepsy since I was about seven years of age. It was diagnosed when I was about 21, um, but it's been a part of my life for the majority of my life. When I was 21 and had the initial seizure, I was terrified. I remember waking up on the ground at a water park and had six paramedics looking down at me. I had no concept of what was, what was occurring and why my body had betrayed me. Uh, in very, very simple terms, it's a neurological disorder that affects the brain that can cause a person to fall into a complete lapse of consciousness and then subsequent almost full amnesia for a period of you know several hours. You don't realize how fragile the human body is until something like a seizure hits you. But I think the uh, most difficult part of having epilepsy is the misunderstanding that most of America has about it. Uh, being asked, why are you, know, are you normal? And it took me a long time to come to terms with it. Uh, about the time I turned 50, I decided that I was going to tell all my friends, all my family, and really engage them so they had an understanding of what epilepsy was and what it was doing to me personally. I found that uh, actually empowering, and it's led me to a point in my life where I believe epilepsy is no longer a negative in my life, but an empowering force that pushes me to excel and do things that I otherwise would not do. What I would tell a child today is what I've told my family. I've got a nephew who's four years old who suffers from epilepsy as well. And the motto that I live my life by is everybody has something and this is my something. The greater the understanding in the public, the more accepted and the more uh, funding I think we'll get to fight this and deal with it. The term end epilepsy means hope. And I think it grants hope to a lot of people affected by epilepsy or those who will be in the future. And I think it also helps build awareness around our community so that this disorder is much better uh, understood.